Hey, uh, YouTube Nation, it's, uh, I'm John Laval, and, uh, I want to talk about, uh, children, uh, specifically, uh, males, uh, young. Uh, here's the point, uh, people, uh, seem to think, uh, that children are all the same, uh, Male or female, it really doesn't matter. The the mental state is the same. Uh, emotional and thinking is, in uh, dealing with their world, is the same. And it actually really isn't. And uh, it's a shame that people think that way because I think it's uh, could be causing some problems there. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, well. Children at say two years old, you know, they don't know who they are. They not much of an identity there. And, uh, uh, you know, if you throw some toys at them, they'll play with anything. And boys will play with dolls, and girls will play with trucks if they have to. They don't care. Uh, they're just exploring at that point. Um, now, one of the differences is uh, uh, we'll talk about say infants and that uh, a girl's. Uh, identify with color and uh, boys again infants uh, and this basically goes through all their lives uh, identify with shapes uh, uh, I know myself I don't seem to see I'm not color blind but uh, you know be sitting in the garden and not even notice the flowers uh, where every woman would uh, but I do notice the shape of the garage or uh, how my bicycle works, where a lot of women have not got a clue how they work. So there is a difference there, and uh, it's not a bad difference. It's important that there is difference because it covers uh, all the bases, and this is how we have a community and we work together because uh, each one of us fills in the gaps for the next person, and uh, great idea. But anyways, uh, back to what I was talking about, uh, the male psyche uh, as a child. No, as they get older, uh, I'm just going to deal with the males here. Uh, I don't. If you've ever watched the news, uh, you you pick up an article. It comes up every so often. This is very tragic, but uh, it comes up. Uh, you know, one kid or a few kids go into a school and uh, start uh, this shooting rampage and. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've all seen this, uh, uh, and you know, the gender is male. I've never heard of one case where females went in with weapons and started uh, uh, causing problems with them. Uh, another article could be on the news, uh, a serial killer was caught. You have the same deal. I've never seen a female. There are c female serial killers, I think. It's not very common. It's generally, it's a male. Uh, a lot of the, well, pretty well, all the violent crimes, uh, the real heavy duty stuff. I'm not talking about, uh, you know, there are girls that slap around other girls, and uh, I know they fight. I see them on talk shows and stuff, and, uh, you know, they're grabbing each other for ratings. <laughs> for the, the TV, uh, the network doesn't uh, frown upon it because it boosts their ratings, and uh, I think these girls already know that uh, if they want to be superstars, they better get into that. But, uh, so that's motivated, but I'm not saying the girls don't fight. Sure, they fight. Uh, they, they have the same. That part in, in guys is the same. Is there a need to release uh, some pressure and uh, you know, get things uh, uh, fixed between uh, somebody else? But uh, back to what I was saying, uh, the horrendous, the heavy duty stuff. Uh, it seems to always be a male involved, and uh, it's avoidable. This comes about by, uh, if you're ever to look into the life of someone who's committed this stuff, you'll find out that the life is tragic. This is not just somebody who uh, decided, uh, I'm going to try something different today. Uh, no, this is, this is in the person. It's, uh, it's a seed that's uh, grown. And it usually starts off slow. They challenge... Uh, whether they're capable of doing something, they torture an animal or something, and they, they move up, the violence always moves up. And uh, actually there's no limit to how far it'll go. 
the only uh, grace there is is at some point they make an error and uh, they're stopped, which is important. Uh, <coughs> now, uh, moving along here, uh, as I say, it's a tragic life. And if you look at it, like the father will come home and uh, beat the kid up, uh, like seriously beat him up, violent, violent, and, and uh, uh, they really hurt. It's the psyche they hurt. They hurt them physically, obviously. Uh, some kids are just brutalized, and uh, they'll actually take uh, like rubber hoses and uh, just pound on this kid for like forever, and uh, they damage the brain. The brain is disturbed. And uh, a male brain that's disturbed. Now remember, I said that uh, males and females are different. Uh, males are uh, sexually. Um, uh, it's a direction of males. Uh, everything that they process or comes through their head somehow gets twisted into some sexual idea. And uh, so now you have this male that's damaged, and uh, he's uh, you know the psyche's damaged, it's disturbed. And uh, it can come out in like sexual uh, uh, deviancy. Uh, it can be violent to women is what I'm saying. It's uh, very, very violent to women. Uh, you've probably heard of a guy saying, if I can't have you, nobody can. And they, they'll kill the woman. I mean, they, they, what kind of thinking is this? Uh, why would you want to deal with somebody who doesn't want you anyways? But uh, they're so possessive. Uh, males can get really, really crazy. They can reach levels that are, uh, you know, just uh, questionable, very questionable. And uh, uh, that's the danger of, uh, you have to be careful around. Now, you can't have a child saying, you know, go and do whatever you want. I just want you to be happy because that doesn't work either. That you have what you call a boundary problem <laughs> now. Now this kid goes through life thinking he can do whatever he wants, and uh, he becomes selfish. I don't say he comes that violent; he won't probably. But he's a self-server, and uh, uh, these type of people are kind of almost annoying to have around. Uh, they really don't care about anybody but themselves, and they expect you to care for them, and uh, that doesn't work either. So uh, what I'm saying is, uh, you have to do something. Uh, but uh, don't don't pound, don't disturb a child. Is what I'm saying is because the outcome is uh, almost always a disaster. Okay, maybe the kid didn't kill anybody or something, but do you know the struggle this kid's going to go through? It's like, and I'll tell you one thing: when he has kids, he will repeat it because of the, 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 it's known that history repeats itself. That's where the term comes from. And uh, well, not just that; history does repeat itself, but. Uh, it also repeats itself in the life. So, he, and he has no control over it. Once the rage goes into the head, uh, he's blind. He doesn't know, even know what he's doing or the consequences of what he's doing. And now he's beating his kid and, uh, you know, the cycle just goes on. His kid will do the same thing when he gets older. and. Uh, it's a crying shame because the life is destroyed, the spirit is destroyed, and then everybody hates him because he, uh, you know, he's a serial killer, and uh, I guess rightfully so. But uh, unfortunately, uh, if it comes down to, it, it is his fault at this point. But was it his fault in the beginning? Uh, he didn't beat himself; his father did, and uh, his father disturbed his brain, and. Uh, now he's committed this horrendous crime, and uh, his father didn't love him, and now nobody else does. And uh, what happens to this person? Uh, is it fair? It's, it makes me think that life is circumstantial. I'm a good person because I had a good life, but this guy is not because he didn't. Uh, you know how fair is this? It's almost like uh, you know I got lucky and uh, this guy didn't. And, uh, so I'm really thinking that maybe God at the end of it all, if you believe in God, uh, will probably pick up the pieces here and put this kid back together again and give him the life that he uh, deserved.